Yo, it's Giant Nomad. So welcome to the Giant Nomad podcast. Yo, guys, like it's it's crazy out here. Man, a lot of new people in Atlanta, and really, as you continue with this podcast, is this this the networking piece that I put into my vision board, and I am really really working it. You know, before not that I was timid. I just didn't want to fuck with people, man. To be honest with you. I was like, yo, I'm going to leave people alone. I'm going to do me. You do you. And that was a bad way of thinking. You know, because you tend to assume that everyone's shit. Everyone has an agenda. And no doubt, everyone does have an agenda. But not everybody's shit. You have to pick and choose what you can use people for to help you in your agenda. You know what I'm saying? Um, You do it all the time already. You already know... What dudes or what girls you're gonna go out with to have fun? You already know who you're gonna confide in. That person's gonna give you advice, or that person is gonna fucking listen, um, or, or a family member. You know what I'm saying? And we really do this naturally because we already have a list of folks that, that provide the necessary social engagement that we desire. So why not engage in that way? You know what I'm saying? And it's. It just kind of clicked to me. I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. Not that I was like a shy because I don't always talk to people. But again, I was just avoiding the situation. I was just avoiding the engagement into action. And as I become more open, yo, even when I'm passing somebody by, I'm saying good morning now. It doesn't matter who you are. Whether you're going to give me a sideways look or whatever, I'm saying good morning. I'm, I'm being nice to folks. You just never know who you're going to meet. So now I'm at older age, uh, my birthday's going to be in a few days now, three days to be exact, and I'll be 41, the second half of my life, I'm living different, I'm doing different things, I'm going to make sure that I'm including certain people into my circle and grow my Rolodex, you know what I'm saying, and you have to grow your Rolodex, I'm not saying I'm not cutting people out of my life, or cutting people uh, off that freedom really needs to be in my life, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm giving people less of me. That's gonna happen sometimes naturally, sometimes on purpose. But when you make a, a, a decision just to cut people off and not engage with new folks, then that whole solo shit <clears throat> really doesn't work for me. That whole solo shit. Because you're not expanding yourself. And as human beings, we, we we are social creatures, right? We develop tribes and gangs, and that's all it is. Like, we have to be social. And the more people you know, the more you can move ahead. Because, again, it's all about who you know and their contacts and how they can get you in that door. And You know, you can always grind, 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 but they're going to have to come to a time like, yo, grinding gets exhausting. You have to be more strategic. You have to keep on moving. You have to keep on working hard. And it's working for me. Just by being nice and talking to people. Hey, what do you do? Oh, how do you do it? How well have you been doing? Say word. Really? Oh, man. That's the fantastic part of it. That's the amazing part of it. And then you are meeting someone new saying, you know what? I could fuck with you. You got the same drive. You're doing something. Not only something similar to me. Maybe something different, but you're at a high level of it too. Like you're at least a higher level than where I am right now. And you always want to level up, not just in yourself, but the people around you. You want to love, you want to have people who are already doing things, who are, who has already went through a door that maybe you haven't considered, or maybe a door that you've been wanting to get through. And you're like, yo, I gotta connect with you. You know, we tend to use social media in a fucked up way. You know, IG. I be posting shit on my IG. It's all about me. It's, it's real shit. I'm not posting no fake life about me. You know what I'm saying? Got people that I work. Um, I have a regular day job. Do the podcast. Edit, produce, wifey's uh, YouTube channel. Her podcast with her as well. And we're making moves. All right? But at the same time, I'm going to be who I am. A thousand percent on social media. Whether you like me or not, don't give a fuck. Because there's already enough fake people you're getting out there. Well, these just posting vacations or the best selfie of themselves, and you're not seeing the struggle life. You're not seeing <laughs> the real shit. That's important to me. To stay as authentic as possible to myself, to my family, 
and to you guys. So you guys get the full version and have an understanding that, yo, I am just like you. I am just starting out on something. I'm wanting more. I desire more. I want to be more. That's it. So I challenge you guys to expand your network. You know, this is, like I said, my personal goal on my vision board to expand my network this year. I really start engaging. I already have. I've already been engaging folks, meeting new people. You know, last year was kind of a test of it. And now this year I'm, you know, plowing through it and saying, yo, I'm going to even expand at least maybe by 100 contacts this year. That's the goal. You know? Because one person could lead you to two people. It, it is, is this going to end up doubling up? It's like a, a stock splitting. You know what I'm saying? So, networking is key. Building your Rolodex, you know, having those contacts. So, when you do need support, when you do open up a shop, you can hit these contacts like, yo, I got a shop opening up. I need support. Can you be the grand opening day? And I guarantee you, they'll be there. Because at the end of the day, they'll need your help too one day. It's vice versa. It's, it's, it's a barter system. It's a trade-off of knowledge. I'm going to barter my knowledge my knowledge, with your knowledge and vice versa. And that's perfectly fine to do. We just don't do it enough. And as we continue to grow, we continue to get better. And we realize, hey, this isn't a bad thing. We all can fucking win. But not until then, we, we will continue to put ourselves back. Our back. But you gotta make shit happen for yourself. You gotta make shit happen. Because if you don't, it's gonna be a fucked up situation. You know? So keep on doing what you're doing, folks. Keep on going after what you're going after. It's an amazing, amazing thing. Again, meeting new people in a strategic way. You might not, why not might becoming best friends with folks. You just don't know what happens, man. Be open to that. And real quick, the whole theory of I'm not going to be nice to anyone anymore because they just take advantage of me. No one's going to take advantage of me anymore. No one's taking advantage of you because you're nice. They're taking advantage of you because you're a punk ass motherfucker. Because you're a pussy. That's why they take advantage of you. Because you don't have a backbone to fucking speak up. That's why they take advantage of you. So it's not about being nice. So don't stop being fucking nice. Just be an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Like, assholes are assholes for a reason. And people who are nice. Are nice for a reason. So if you're already nice, don't stop being nice. Just get a fucking backbone of someone trying to get over and you tell me, yo, no more. I'm cutting you off. No more fucking money. Stop asking for money or favors or whatever. That's fucking it. So, yo, build your network. Build your network so you can build your net worth. Remember that. Build your network so you can build your net worth. Johnny out.